Hey guys, welcome to another nail tutorial. Last week I showed you how to do the nails on my left hand in this glam acrylic lilac look. Today we're going to be working on the right hand. Now if you're like me and you're right-handed, it's very, very hard to do the nails on your right hand using your left hand, but today we're going to make that a little bit easier using an at-home poly gel nail kit from AliExpress. Um, so this is what the poly gel nail kit uh, includes this is the poly gel nail builder gel um, this is in the color pink and we also have the slip solution um, which helps you to shape your nails and then we also have this pen with a scraper tool on one side and a soft synthetic brush on the other side to help you shape the nail forms And of course we also have the nail tips. This kit comes with 100 nail pieces. These are look to be very very high quality and they have a nice curve to them and of course the remover points are on one side of the nails. I'm going to be using my 100 and 180 grit nail file to prep my nails for the poly gel application. I'm going to file off uh, any oils from my nails and shape them to make it easier for the poly gel to adhere to my natural nails. I'm just gonna clean that off. And now I'm going to apply my nail primer and dehydrator. This is very important to make sure that you don't have any lifting and the nails don't just pop off. As you can see, it's really hard to work with my left hand, but this poly gel should actually make it easier. Now I'm going to be using a gel base coat. I'm just going to nuke that for 60 seconds and then we'll come back and apply our poly gel. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to start unboxing. This is the slip solution that comes in this kit. This is what you can use to mold um, the poly gel and help shape it the way you want to. Um, if you don't have slip solution, you can basically use 100% uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. This is the Quick Builder Gel. I'm using the Natural Pink in 1804. Now I'm just going to find the sizes for my nails. Um, this, as you can see, has the remover on one side, which you can, it's beads that you can help remove the nail form from your nails. And this seems to have a nice curve to it, and the quality seems pretty high. Doesn't seem like it'll crack easily. And I'm just gonna find the right sizes for the rest of my nails. It's too big. When you're working with poly gels and nail tips, you want to make sure that you find the exact right side size. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of trouble because it will either leak out of the sides and get on your sidewalls, or it'll be too small and it won't look right on your nails. So that looks good. And I think that's right. I just want to replace the middle finger because as you can see, that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to find a better match. There, that's about perfect. Okay, now I'm going to take the thumbnail and my poly gel and the scraper tool. 
and I'm going to apply a small bead of poly gel to the nail form. Now you, with poly gel, you wanna work with as little product as possible because you don't want it to be thick and a little bit goes a long way with this product. So I'm gonna take a small bit of poly gel and place it onto the end of the nail tip that does not have the beads on it, on the sides of it. And I'm gonna make sure that that sticks. Poly gel is very, very thick and it's also really sticky. So if you're used to working with acrylic, you might wanna keep this in mind. I'm going to take my slip solution. And as you can see, the slip solution just makes the gel super, super um, easy to work with, but you don't wanna make it too liquid. Just like with acrylic, you wanna keep it manageable. And I'm just gonna glue that on, not glue, but like place onto my nail and I'm going to nuke this for two minutes. After I'm done, the nail form will easily come off and my nail will be hardened and ready. And there is the nail. It's really perfect. As you can see, there's no extra poly gel on the sides um, and the nail is hard and uh, in good form. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my index finger. I'm gonna take a smaller bead. You wanna take uh, smaller beads as you go towards your smaller fingers, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna move that bead around and then use my slip solution You just want to clean up any poly gel that slips out of the nail and then you would just nuke this for two minutes and once it comes off you have the perfect nail. You can tap it to make sure that it's properly dried. Once you attach the nail to your a natural nail you want to make sure that you go back and smooth out the end the bottom of the nail to make sure that there's not any lumpiness on the bottom of your nail Now, as you can see, I have really nicely formed nails that are all around about the same size. And now I'm just gonna go back and clean out the stickiness that is on my hands. We're using rubbing alcohol. And now we're back to shape and file the nails. To file the nails, you want to be a little bit more careful while filing poly gel nails just because they're a little bit softer than acrylics. So as you can see, it's a little bit harder for me to file using my left hand, but I'm making do because uh, poly gel is actually easier to file, so this whole process has been easier. Now that I've filed my nails into the shape that I want, it's almost like a coffin shape, um, almond, ballerina, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've uh, removed the top layer of the poly gel using rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna pick the gel polish that I wanna put on top of my nails. I'm gonna be using these two colors from Vanna Lisa. This is a nice um, burnt orange and purple shade, the lilac shade that I have on my left hand. And I'm gonna take my medium sized synthetic brush to apply this gel. It's really hard to apply polish with um, my left hand, which is why I'm not getting the most perfect application, but um, it's actually really easy to work with this Vitalins of Gel. And so it's gonna turn out fine no matter what. Now 
Now I'm gonna nuke this for two minutes and we'll come back and do the ring finger. I'm gonna be using the same lilac shade that I have on my left hand on the ring finger of my right hand. So I'm gonna take this shade and apply, try to apply it as evenly as possible with my left hand. Now after that's done nuking for two minutes, I'm going to go over and decorate the nails how I want them. I'm gonna use these metal cutouts for nails. These are all different shapes and sizes. They're really, really pretty. We have squares, circles, and triangles. Um, today, I think I'll be working with the triangles right there, um, or maybe a little bit bigger on the other side. I think we'll try these. I think it'll be really hard to apply these with my left hand, so we'll see how this goes. I'm of course going to be using my um, rhinestone tool to apply these because that makes it really easier to pick everything up. I'm going to take my rhinestone glue and mark where I'm going to be putting that triangle. And I'm going to apply the glue in that spot. Okay, let's see. I think this would look better vertically. So I'm gonna apply it, oops. Just like that. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a couple of rhinestones and try to see place them in a curved shape along my index nail. So I really like these Marquise cut rhinestones that I got from Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link below if you guys want to know where to purchase them from. So what I usually do is I usually try to see how I want the nail um, rhinestones to look. And after that, I just apply glue and glue them on. So I think that's a nice shape right there. It's kind of in a horizontal line across my index fingernail. And I think that looks really cute. Um, I think the triangle probably needs some more shine. So I'm gonna take a medium sized round rhinestone and apply it right in the middle of the triangle. I think that looks really cute. Um, then I'm just going to take a big rhinestone and apply it to the um, end of my thumb and my little finger. And once I've nuked that for 60 seconds, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my ring finger. I'm going to be applying the same holographic uh, chrome powder that I applied on my left hand. Um, this is the Born Pretty Gunmetal Holographic Chrome Powder. It's really pretty, it has glitter and a really nice shade. So the key, as I said before, to applying um, chrome powder is to press your product into the applicator. This is the applicator wand that came with the product. If you press the product into the wand, it's really, really easy to then press it onto your nail. Otherwise, it just gets super, super powdery and flies everywhere instead of getting into the product. And the more you press down and apply, the more um, holographic look you will end up with. You want to make sure that you cover the sides and the tip of the nail, especially the free edge. 
Now I'm just gonna apply some Vanalisa No Wipe Tempered Top Coat on top of all of my nails and So then I'm going to nuke these for two minutes. Now I'm just going to apply some cuticle oil all over my cuticles, um, all this buffing and um, using the nail file has really dried out my cuticles so I'm just going to apply this very generously. And here is the finished nail look. If you guys like this, please subscribe and like the video and let me know in the comments what you think.